Don't. All right. All right. What do you got? Courtney and I got solo fever. Okay. Fever. It, it made a hundred and one million dollars so far. So far. Right. Uh, it, most of it from you and I. <laughs> between the two of us, we've seen it. One, two, three times. Three times. Um, uh, okay, so get Star Wars Fever, right? Okay. All right. Guess what's on for sale? It's being auctioned this weekend oh, on boy. eBay. <laughs> it's I a don't piece know. of the Death Star, people. What? what? All right, this is a huge little piece, too. Uh, so uh, June 3rd at 9 p.m. Okay. They'll okay. officially do it. I, apparently, the reserve's at $10,000, which I think is Ooh, okay. So this, apparently, according to the story, okay, here's what it looks like and everything. Mm -hmm. do, 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 there it is, spinning. That's as one does. Okay, so uh, the lore of this is an ex ILM employee, name withheld by request, uh, <laughs> rescued the specific piece as somebody was discarding it, throwing it into, was going to throw it in the ran landfill. He says, no, I'll take it. Okay. And then had it at their house until 2014. And then acclaimed Star Wars collector Steve Rad acquired the piece, kept it in his personal safe for the next four years, and then now it's going to be up. Oh, boy. He knew. He knew yeah. to wait. Absolutely. So uh, thank you, ILM employee name withheld by request. For tossing uh, for it. For saving this piece. Oh, she's going to save it. Of uh, television lore. So this was, uh, you know, as uh, Luke Skywalker and the gang went yeah. through the Death Star and were going to blow it up and everything, uh, that, this piece was in there somehow. That's somehow. the canon they Got up. it. Yeah. Cool. Okay. So, you said the reserve is what now? Uh, right 10, now, 000. I think 10,000. Yeah, mm. 10,600 is the current bid. Mm, okay. Mm. It's going to go a little bit higher than that. Probably. Yeah. Probably. Just but a little bit. And, you know, with the timing of the solo movie, like, yes. this guy knew this exactly was all what he was planned. doing. This all planned, absolutely. Yeah. Lovely. Piece. Oh, it's, look at how big it is. Yeah, that's a pretty good-sized piece yeah. right there. Yeah. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Um, I would say, where would I display? What is right it made here out of? On the front of the Should set. Should we paint it? Oh, <laughs> you can't paint it. <laughs> what is wrong you with you? You can't put Mod Podge on that. <laughs> no. I mean, no, we can't make that match the kitchen. Mm -mm. No? Mm -mm. It's got to be just like that. You know what that'd be good? On the inside of your house, you put that over the door. Uh -huh. So, like, that's where your peephole is. You can look through the Death Star. Oh, that would be pretty good. <laughs> look and see who's outside. Like that. Or uh, CBS 13 set. <laughs> I've said it looks a little like Star Trek. Okay. But they've got like these robotic cameras, and yeah. one of them is on like this track. Mm -hmm. You could put it in the track, and then you can oh, recreate right. the whole scene. That's right. kind of cool. The camera going by. That's kind of cool. Star Trek style. I still like it as a craft hybrid. project. Up to Tony Lopez. <laughs> <laughs> right up to Tony. <laughs> That's I think we're onto something. Like red. <laughs> She's still trying to Right there, it. see? <laughs> see? See? Yeah. Right and then we can fly by and then we'll go see how. <laughs> Show them the track. The track's cool. See? Yeah. 